What's going on guys, it's Shay and I'm back here again with another video and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Into the Flames. Uh, this is a game you can pick up off Steam for about 20 bucks. Um, I played it for a little while so this isn't really my first review but I absolutely love the game so I thought I would just make a video on it for some of you guys. Uh, I know you guys liked a lot of the uh, Roblox um, kind of firefighter stuff I did so. I bought this game and I've had nothing but fun since I've played it. So this is your main menu here uh, on the left hand side here You got online and offline mode. Yes, you can play online and yes There is a in-game voice chat, which is really good uh, You got an Academy, which is basically a tutorial that walks you through stuff. Uh, you got your options here You can edit your controls your graphics uh, which uh, I added in mine, but I recommend leaving yours on default, whatever your PC sets it at, because if you don't have a very good PC, it might, uh, it can crash sometimes. Uh, so you notice that this game is in beta, uh, so it does have many bugs. Um, over here to your right, you have a mod directory, which you can actually, uh, you can you can actually do mods in here, uh, like skins for your fire trucks and whatnot. Uh, so there's that um, so we're going to go ahead and go click here. There's not many players on uh, usually there aren't um, However, this this game does have a pretty big community, but um, not too sure why there's not many online, but we're gonna play Offline here. Uh, you have a few maps to choose from There are free roam maps. Uh, this is one of them the Canton County uh, Here's the Heights, which is another free roam um, and then the Academy which is that tutorial one and then the farm the warehouse and the house fire are both or are, are all um you can't free roam in those they they kind of set you up uh right there in that little area um and then there's the airport as well but we're gonna go canton county um you can you know this is kind of how you host a uh online but we're gonna uh launch offline um now like i said this game has many bugs um uh, many aren't too game breaking. Uh, however, I will say the AI are quite ruthless. <laughs> they will drive into you. Um, so you do have to be careful with that. Um, so here we go. This game has been out for quite some time. It's not a brand new game at all, really. I thought it was when I first bought it, but I checked it out. Even Jeff Fabiano did a video on this game way back in the day. So I was like, what? So this game has been out for quite some time. Uh, here you go. So we're in the free roam. Uh, which is amazing. Um, if if I'll tell you what, if free roam if free roam wasn't added, I probably wouldn't have picked up this game. I knew it had free roam, so I was like, you know, I gotta pick up this game. Um, so here we are. Uh, if you hold V, you can go in the first person view, which is big, very big. Um, not everybody likes third person, so you actually have a four wheeler here that you can drive. Look at that. So if you go in the first person. I absolutely love this thing. It's amazing. If you hold R, or sorry, tap R, it turns off the vehicle, which I recommend doing because uh, they can get pretty noisy. Unless you're on scene, of course. Go ahead and open the door. Uh, this is station two. Uh, station two comes with, uh, I won't be covering all the stations, by the way, but uh, it comes with this big old rig right here and uh, the squad. I believe this is what this is. Maybe not. I don't know. Actually, I don't know the correct term for all the fire trucks, but it does look nice. Look at these models, man. Very, very nice. Got clothes here. Got stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to actually switch stations because I don't actually like this station. Uh, you can fly in that helicopter if you want to. It's a bit buggy, but uh, you can fly in it. Uh, to switch stations, all you have to do is press tab. You got all these things over here. Go to fire stations. Uh, and this, these are all your stations, okay? I'm going to go to station 3. And then all you have to do is go to teleport to station. And it'll teleport you just like that. If you press N, it'll open up a map. Which you can use the... Uh, I forget how you can look around it. I forget. Uh, but it, you can look around it. Uh, it's a very huge map. Very huge. Um, so, yeah. There's that. Uh, you can get calls randomly. Uh, so, if you press tab... Um, Responder list, uh, you are available. Um, emergencies, here's where your calls are going to come in at. Um, as you can see, it's changing to nighttime, 
which is not really going to help my case, but uh, you can press F for flashlight. I know it's going to be quite hard to see guys in the nighttime, but here's your uh, tanker. Looks very nice. And then your standard ladder truck. Very nice as well. Now, there are fire poles in the game, which are cool. Uh, just not at this station. I believe it's station 6 as a fire pole, I think. Um, so, we're going to force a... Um, there are player houses as well. You can actually claim a house in this game, which is pretty cool. Um, so, you can force a call, I believe. Uh, force dispatch call. Right there, and press exit. Uh, let's see if it actually goes through or not. I don't know if I pressed that correctly. Uh, force CAD. Oh, here we go. Uh, and click random. And then exit. Unknown medical problem. So we're just going to go ahead and hop out there. F should be able to open the that. H is for headlights. And then I think I just... Wait. Why isn't this thing moving? Oh, R. Sorry. I also got the chat open by accident. Let's see where this thing is at. Uh, where is it at? Okay, it's all the way over there in the city. So actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to switch to station 6 or 7. I think 7 it is. One second, guys. We're going to switch to station 7. And I don't know how to get this global chat thing off the screen. Uh, I accidentally started typing and now I can't get it off. Uh, so we're actually going to... Uh, that's going to be an annoyance real quick. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Hold on. I don't know if that just goes away, but hopefully it does. Um, fire stations. I think that was seven, wasn't it? Seven. Yeah, it's, so it's right over here. And then your sirens are your standard number buttons. Oh god. Now those are your sirens. Uh, you got more, a ton more, but uh, it, it, it can get pretty loud. Uh, if you press V, you can go into first person. The interiors aren't too detailed, obviously. Uh, let's see. It should be right here. Uh, like I said, guys, I don't know how to get this. Uh... Hold on. Let me just park right here real quick. I don't know how to get this uh, global chat off screen. So in it, if any of you guys know how to actually do that, I don't. Uh, it would be very helpful. Uh, I forget which door we have to go through for this one. Oh, it's back here. Gotcha. You alright, man? Is this not him? It actually might be bugged, but... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, because I know you guys don't want to see this global chat on the screen, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we are back. Sorry about that. Um... Let's just go ahead and get another call. Let's try to get a fire this time. Um, oops. Actually, no, we'll stay here. Um, so, emergencies. Usually, I don't do this, but uh, we want to force a call because we are on video. And it does actually take a while for Carl's calls to come in. So, we got structured fire. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the map, see where it's at. It's up here at station... How do you actually... There we go. You have to use the D-pad. Or the arrows. Station 1. It's in Station 1, so we're going to switch to fire stations. Station 1. Teleport to Station. Here we are. Give everything a spot load. You can already see stuff on fire over there. Um, so actually, we might not even need to drive. We have a fire a hydrant right there. A water supply. So um, We will take... Uh, I know there's a fire going on, so... We have to take this over here.
don't mind me I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up right here so what you want to do is you want to uh, go to connections uh, driver intake I believe this is correct I could be wrong hopefully I'm right usually it's a supply line I don't know why uh, let's see connect the hose there we go we're gonna need the uh, hydrant wrench now I am by no means a expert firefighter at all uh, to grab your equipment it's here in gear uh, you obviously want to grab an air pack tools hydrant wrench and you can switch between tools uh, by pressing R come on use hydrant wrench alright so we should have water coming through yep and it is becoming daytime let's see what we got here alright uh, now let me mess with the pump panel I'm not I'm still getting used to this I'm not too good at it uh, hold on wait pump panel uh, let's see I believe we have to increase this to 150 I think I'm not too sure uh, discharge one open because that's the one we're gonna use uh, actually let me go ahead uh, actually we'll do discharge five uh, and you can press J to drop stuff oh, wait that's not what I want <laughs> Hold on, guys. One second. How about the front here? Discharge three. That, that's what we want. So we press J to drop it, and then we can go back over here. And discharge three open. I think I'm doing this correctly. I'm not too sure. I kind of forget how to do this, but uh, it is open. Water intake. Oh, that's like a little tutorial. Uh, hold on one second. Do we have water coming through here? No, we do not. Discharge three open. Um, tank to f operation. Wait. There we go. Now I'm not too sure where to actually set this stuff at. I know if it's too high you can't actually walk around, but it should work. Alright, uh, I probably should have... Let's see if we can actually go through here yet. Uh, if you press M, it'll, it can turn on your uh, uh, air pack. Okay, so we can go through here. So if we switch to V... It looks like it's going to be above us, I do believe. Yeah, I think it's above us. Alright, so we're probably going to need the ladder truck. That would be my best, our best bet, since it's right across the street. Alright. Yeah, let's go grab the ladder truck. Now, I will say this game is very, very fun when you have friends playing with you. Uh, you don't always want to be playing alone. However, you can. It's still fun, but uh, having friends is definitely the move with this game. Don't mind me as I drive over the supply line. Alright, now if we can actually get up here. I think that'll be a good spot right there. Uh, we just have to... Wait, where's those... Uh here we go. Deploy those. And then we can actually uh, use bucket right here. Okay. Alright, so if we go ahead and turn it this way. Very cool. And we'll go ahead and up it some, and then we'll go ahead and extend. Alright, let's see if we can uh, toggle water pipe. Okay, I'm not too sure. 
Okay, I don't... Toggle water pipe. Disabled. Hmm. Oh, we'd have to hook it up to the, uh... Okay. Alright, um... Exit from bucket. Here we go. Now we need our, uh... Sorry, guys. <laughs> nope, don't ever do that. <laughs> I could just hook it up from the... F uh, I could hook up the water supply right here. But okay, can I not get up here? It looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Son of a... Okay, well... That happened. Definitely just happened. Wait, am I doing this right? Sorry guys, I told you, I'm nowhere, like, you guys are probably yelling at me through the... I'm just gonna do it the only way I know how. Which is like this right here. Alright. Now my camera's a little messed up. Okay, come on. Now, as far as I know, I believe the fire has little hitboxes, so you can kind of, like, move it around like that, the hose, so. I feel like that's the best way to do it. Uh, let's say the fire is going to be under us as well, so I think we're going to have to vent. Actually, no, probably shouldn't do that, since we want the fire to stay inside. Alright, uh... Let's see here. I'm trying to figure out how we get to the second floor. Alright. Probably just need to go down here again. We're gonna jump down since we have the health. I don't think there is a second story, is there? We just need to vent. If that's the case, then we're just going to put this down and go grab an axe or something. And a fan. Uh, where is it? Tools. I don't know. Is there a second floor? It looks like there is, but... can't really tell. Why is it like this dumpster is on fire as well? Okay, hold on. Alright, rotary saw. Anyways, this is a video to uh, kind of showcase the game, not to showcase my uh, my uh, <clears throat> my skills, which I have none, obviously. Okay. 
There's probably still a fire somewhere. I just don't know how to get up there. Alright, let me grab this. Can I actually... No, I can't. Let me look around here. Which I probably should have done in the first place, but... Oh, this is a... Why can't I go through here? Oh, interesting. We cut this down, though. No. All right. Let me just do. Uh, what am I looking for here? I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. If this doesn't work, then we'll just. Uh, I'll showcase one more thing and then we'll wrap up the video. Okay, that's. Come on. It's probably going to get me killed, but. Can I not hook the floor here? I would probably only do it from the inside. Or it's because this is a cement roof. That's probably it. I just don't know how to get on that second floor. Because there's definitely something on fire. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's kind of the showcase of the game. It's very realistic, as you can see. As you can see, let me see if I can get in here. Oh, actually, put away your tools. Go to remove all. Normally, people would know how to solve this, but if you press uh, I, you can actually customize your vehicle skin. As you can see, it turned to blue. Look at that. Pretty cool. Um, so, they're still uh, fixing that type of stuff or editing those skins and whatnot, but uh, that's where the mods come in. You can actually deploy your own mods and stuff so uh, and then in the next update I believe they're making customizable lights uh, which would be cool so yeah I think that's pretty much it um like I said I'm no sort of firefighter I couldn't even figure out how to start this or in this whatever you would say but um, that's into the flames uh, I do want to do more videos on it but with friends um, I decided to go solo for the review uh, usually my friends are there to help me, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. The, um, you can pick this up off Steam for 20 bucks, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I will link the, uh, the game link in the description down below. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and let me know what you think. Uh, I will catch you guys next time.